Hey, Taste Buddies. Just a special announcement before we get into this week's episode. Uh, I apologize for my appearance. Uh, I, I was up all night um, due to the events of, uh, and the reaction, I should say, of last episode, uh, Weed versus Alcohol. And uh, the reason I was up all night was because I decided to revisit the episode based on the comments that were coming in on YouTube that were very, very um, adverse, let's say, is a nice way of saying, towards what I was saying. And so anyway, I rewatched the episode and I just can't believe how right I was. I mean, I was so right. I was awake all night, excited. I just, I can't sleep. I'm, it's like, woo, I'm giddy, I'm giddy. I'm just kidding. I wasn't up all night. I just uh, didn't put myself together when I woke up before I did this video because weed enthusiasts, I wanted to appear in a form that you could relate to. You know, the guy doesn't get out of the house, doesn't get off his ass, doesn't really comb his hair. You know, oh man, I got to reach for the bong, man. Oh boy, oh. <laughs> God damn, for a lot of weed smokers, you guys are angry, you know? I was angry on the episode, but I'm a drunk. Drugs are supposed to be angry. Weed smokers are supposed to be chill. You guys are so mad. Woo! Can't handle your strains, bruh. Can't handle your strains. Anyway, Salome, you're still friends. Enjoy today's episode, Pool versus Beach. Uh, it gets a little heated at the end. Taste buds, they come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic. Hiya, taste buddies, welcome to T A S T E Buds. And it's another round from Joe and Sal. Here we go. Are you sure, we should be doing that chant. We can. We I should. never feel comfortable doing it. I don't feel comfortable either, but that's kind of where the excitement is. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I hope people know that, like, we know. We know. They I hope know. Like someone's not tuning in and being like, what are these two adults, the cheerleading? They know that we know. Yeah, okay. And we know that they know. Okay. And we know that they know that we know that they know. I love it. I follow it. You follow me. Uh, today's... Let's just jump right in. Topic is... <laughs> is, is another, well, by the way, thanks for staying with us. <laughs> Last week, I mean, for the intro to the non-food related <laughs> battles... That was a serious heater. It like got we had, hot. We, had, we just had a straight up fight. It, 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 was a, it was a battle. By the way, shout outs to I forgot to do this. It's already uh, posted. Pimp the new one. Okay, I forgot to do this before. Shout outs to gotcha, uh, the folks that sent us the renditions of "Sleep, Sleep, My Baby." Yes, yes. Um, so, what am I looking for here? Uh, oh, the email. Check out my Instagram, or even did you, maybe we reposted on Taste Buds Instagram. Jonathan Gibbons did the full orchestra. <laughs> it was insane. It was an orchestral take. On and then song. there was another version I sent to you and Pimp um, that I. Oh man, I don't want to leave this guy's name out. Hold on a second. The other one is from Jack Bertelli. You can follow Jack at at Jack Bertelli, which is spelled B E R T E L L I. Sax, S A X. Uh, thank you to both of you guys. Uh, I really, we really appreciate uh, the renditions of the the song. And uh, thank you very much. I loved it, and uh, I played it many times. Yeah. Now, getting to today's. Hopefully, this will be a calmer. This is, I think this is another polarizing one. I think you're a beach person or you're a pool person. I think you know, it'll be polarizing. I, I don't think it'll be quite as heated as last week. The way we phrased this poll today wasn't which is better because on any given day, either could be better because like on a beautiful day, I might be like, I'm feeling the beach today. So the way we worded it was, which do you prefer? Right? So like in the long run, the long haul, are you a beach person or are you a pool person? Hopefully it's received as such. Sure. I no, agree. There's no surprise with me. Please right. straighten out your mic thing. I have an OCD thing going on. Yeah, just nice and nice and easy. Just pull that. Yeah, there it is. No, nice. when we're in his house, it's his rules <laughs> through and through. <laughs> Anything else I can I do am, for you? I am a. Should uh, I straighten the threads on my? I am a pool person through and through. Vacation at the beach. Love the beach. I saw you memories at the beach. Spend love a good bonfire. I love a good 
sandwich uh, that I brought to the beach. I love I, I, I love sh- the ocean. I love water. Yes. So for the beach, I mean a tropical crystal clear water that is a very amenable like 75 degrees. Nothing necessarily beats that, but that's but, not the beach all the time. That's yeah, the tropics. Let's let's, let's talk about the beach that the rest of don't us don't like the sand. Let's talk about the beach that the that the rest of us regular people have to go to, not the fancy famous guy Just beaches. Just said that's not that you all go the time. To. You never been to one? No, and you want to rub my face in it? You've never been to a tropical beach. I also don't own any gold or diamonds. Have you ever been? I, I don't have a Swedish bank account. I don't, I don't own uh, diamonds. <laughs> I don't have a Swedish bank. You've never been to the tropical beach? No. Joe, you're lying. I'm not lying. You're going to lie to our, our, our listeners. Oh, wait. I did the Joker's... Was the Joker's Cruise Beach? Was that a tropical beach? No, the cruise... That went through the downtown harbors here. The, cru- the cruise. I don't know where we were. You don't think you went to the tropics on the cruise? The beach we no. went to on that cruise. Oh, you mean... Like, oh, on the cruise. Was that... Tro- oh, yeah. yeah. We went to... When we went to... Suez Canal or the Hudson River? Of course it was a tropical beach. All right, I didn't know. That's the one time I went to a you tropical beach. You didn't know that you were, for five days you were on a ship going through the tropics? Listen, if you think I knew where I was for those five days, <laughs> I was playing craps and drinking until 3 a.m. every night. Okay. You know, I barely got through my shows. The point is this. <laughs> <laughs> the point is this. It was a great time. It was It was fun. It was a lot but, of fun. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Are you telling me that in your life outside of the one cruise you did with us, you have never gone to no. Jamaica, no. Mexico, never. Uh, uh, British Virgin Islands, no. Turks and Caicos. No. Aruba. No. Bermuda. No. Bahamas. No. Key Lago. No. Key Lago. <laughs> Montego. Isn't that where Trump is? No, uh, I don't even Mar-a-Lago. know. Mar-a-Lago? <laughs> you, no. Wait, what? Why? What? Why in the world haven't you just gone to a beach for a small vacation, even oh, a I'm weekend? S- I'm sorry that I'm such a peasant that I haven't gone to. Not the true. Tropical Very affordable. Beach. Even I have been. Uh, pimp, yeah, aren't you just there? Listen, yeah. Pimp, I see what we pay you. Of course you've been. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> I don't no. mean like. No, I mean, I've never. I'm not I mean, I've never gone. No, no, I'm. I'm, I'm being funny. Oh, Miami. But, uh oh, you know what? I went to um uh uh what's that place in Mexico? I went to. Uh, Sam, where H- Sammy Hagar's town in Mexico that he created. Cabo San Lucas? Cabo, yeah. yeah. That's a... That's is he, when he's the mayor there or something yeah. like that or whatever. He created yeah, it. Yeah. It's, it is the name of the town, the name of his tequila. Cabo it? Wabo. Cabo Wabo, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, went, I went to the beach there. Is that considered tropical? <laughs> it's, it's, isn't the Mex... Yeah, of course, it's Mexico. Is Mexico tropical? On the, on the, on the ocean side, maybe not the Gulf side. Is that, I don't know which side that is. Oh, if you went to Cabo... No, Cabo is... Out west, that's but there's two Cabos. Oh, okay. I don't know which is Sammy. Uh, I just assume that. I'm sorry, but I just assume that in in your life you are a learned and experienced person, a middle aged approaching middle aged. You you. I, I'm just surprised that you have never been like, oh, let me go somewhere for a weekend and spend a a thousand dollars to do it. I'm not a big. Uh, I'm not a huge uh, vacation guy. I never have been. So you're arguing for beach. Yes. Based on local beach? Oh, yeah. Wow, you must love the beach. The beach is great. You must love the I'm, beach. I'm, I'll tell you, you're, primarily you're, you're I'm arguing... Argue, you're going to argue pools on the whole. I'm, I, I mean, a cantilevered with, infinity we had a pool, pool looking into the ocean on the beach. We had a pool. You're going to argue Jones Beach? We had a pool <laughs> growing up. I had a pool. We had a pool. My grandfather bought us a pool before he died. Okay. We had a pool in ground. Uh, okay, I grew up with a pool. Pools are great. but And I'm basing this primarily this on Jersey Shore and Myrtle Beach, which is where we went as a kid. <sighs> There's nothing like sand I got into that chills. ocean. I got the chills. Why? Because I can't believe you're going to base your battle of pool versus beach just on Myrtle and the Jersey Shore. And I'll throw Montauk Shore. in there, too. Okay. You know, I've been to Montauk, you know. Oh, I, This is very interesting. You know why? I didn't grow up with a pool. I longed for a pool. I wished I had a pool. I had a community pool in the apartment complex I lived in, which when I was very young, which I was in, but it it closed at certain hours. It was only open during the summer, and I was in that thing 
every minute that it was open every summer for like 10 years but like it was always taken away from me and then after i moved from there i could only be invited to a pool and then There's also too that's not a... good that, that's not good either because you were the weird kid in the pool all the time there were couples yeah. that wanted to go down and have like a glass yeah, of wine like, at the yeah. pool and they were like the kid the friggin well, we grew up with a lot the of Volcano kids. kids in the friggin the pool kids really took over out. the pool it was a lot of kids in the thing but <laughs> but right. my point being though like no but my point being is that like uh you know, there's nothing worse like when like, it's a beautiful, gorgeous summer day. You don't have plans and it's hot out and you wish you could go in a pool and you even that. I mean, you, I guess you can go to a public pool. I never did that. But like you wish someone would invite you in their pool. A beach is yes. like, I guess, I guess you could say that with a public pool. I was going to make the point that a beach is 24-7, 365 whenever you want it as long as you're near the coast. You know, I mean, which, well, I in mean, my experience, we live in New York. I'm near the coast. But so. also, too, you can't jump in the ocean, you know, 24-7, sure. 365. But for me, like, we, the beach was at our will, and the pool necessarily wasn't. I'm not sure that if that's where it comes into play. Because believe me, I love nothing more than some light waves and just floating up and down. I do have a fear every single time I'm in the ocean, even if it's clear waters, that even... A regular fish is going to get a little too close. Maybe get up my shorts, my shorts or something. Or I'm going to step on a crab. It's going to bite my toe. Or God forbid, a shark. And then recently, I read an article of this guy that took a drone out over the ocean for long periods of time. And every time he did it, he saw a shark in the water that was always within a couple of hundred feet of people. And he used it to say that sharks are around so much more than we have any right to believe. And that just goes to prove to you how much <laughs> sharks shouldn't be feared and how they don't attack you that much there's like x amount of shark attacks a year but if you knew how many sharks were next to you at all times without attacking you like that's supposed to bring you go as far as to comfort? say we're more scared of them than they are of us would he, did or he they're go? more scared of us than the damn it i screwed Maybe. it up i i that's damn what, it. that's what it, the damn point it. the point he was making is and that's always in the recesses of my mind even when i'm in the I'll best say this. possible ocean situation i'll say this i'll say this by the way if you didn't notice folks we are already into the b-a-t-t-l-e buds <laughs> we jumped right in this week the chance would have been too close the chance would have been too close together okay uh Here's what I love about the beach. It's an event. I mean, a pool's great. I, we've, we've, we've hung out at many pools together. I once recently saw you stay in a pool for, I'm not exaggerating, yeah. I think nine hours. Easy. That's literally, easy. That's my regular pool day. Literally without leaving except twice to pee, yeah. which was brought into discussion at one point because <laughs> Sal hasn't left the pool enough <laughs> for the I, amount of time she should have I don't pee a lot. I have a whole bit on it. I, okay. uh, I pee every two days for seven minutes. So, so you were in the, I've never seen anybody stay in water for that long in my life. You ate two full meals in that pool. Nothing better than eating the meal poolside. Uh, I don't love it because your hands are wet and, you know. You dry them. You know, but, but I will say this. For me, the beach, I love a pool. The beach, and the pool's got a lot of amenities that the beach doesn't have. You got diving boards and things and rafts and things like that. But I love the beach. The beach is an event. You go. It's a destination. You get there. You got to find the perfect spot. You set up shop. You got a cooler full of beers or, or juices or sodas or whatever the hell it is you bring. Maybe you bring a picnic basket. Maybe you don't, and you do that great. We're going to get up and walk up to that weird little booth up there that sells hot dogs and cheeseburgers. Then the guy comes by with the ice cream pops. All right? Maybe you go flirt with the lifeguard and you have a summer romance. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just the, let me, the let beach me, to me is amazing. You really took that to sell somewhere. Uh, <laughs> and I get it. It's, the, the beach is romanticized as it should be. And even you got things like Baywatch. And I, I get it. I, I get the beach. I get fun in the sun. I get all that stuff. Uh, what is this? A new study which assessed the health of more than 27,000 beachgoers over four years found individuals who played in the sand had a greater risk of diarrhea and gastrointestinal illness than those who stuck to their towels. I'm telling you about the sand. Now, let me take you. What is this? Wait a second. What is this study from? There's no <laughs> header. It's from newser.com. I mean, come on. I, I'm what just are reading, we talking I just about read it because he pulled it up. But let me take you through my local beach experience, okay? Because, sure, there's elevated beaches, okay? But our local, the one that I had access to the most, the one that I've experienced with the most, what my, was my life, and still is my life experience with the beach when I'm not going on a, a vacation and paying money to go there? 
I get all the things you said, all the pluses. I, I get all the nostalgia and the the routine of finding the spot and getting the towel and you know putting it on and taking a dip and making a sandcastle and going back and all those things are true. And bringing a cooler and having a sandwich and all they're all cool. They're all cool. But there's also all these other elements, these in, these these variables with a beach that I don't feel I have with a pool. And I could start from getting there, fighting the traffic to get there, finding parking being three blocks from the beach, carrying the, the cooler, your, your your towels, the bag, the, the beach chair, lugging it over there. You're in flip-flops. You get up to the freaking boardwalk, splinter. You get down on the sand. You take off your things. It's lava hot. You're already sweating. You're traipsing through all these people. Some people are playing their radio loud. Some people are throwing a football around. Some people are loud and obnoxious. You're going, this. it's so packed that you find the six-foot area that you can lay your own towel. There's someone to your left, someone to your right, someone in front of you, someone behind you. You sit down, it's scorching hot. The sand feels like sandpaper. It's getting in you. It's in your crack. It's in your balls. It's in your toes. All right, your feet in the sand feels nice, whatever. I'm dying now. I'm going to go into the water. The water's too rough. There's jellyfish today. There's too much seaweed. The water's too cold. There's too many rocks in the water. You're There's naming, too many people in the water. You're naming all worst case scenarios. But I'm saying that any, but any one of those things... Any one of them, you can pluck them out, and they're pretty. It's a pretty high chance one of those is going to be there on one of the all beach right, days. But I would say this to that. I would say this to all that. First of all, pimp just put on relaxing white noise video of beach and the waves crashing. Love there that. is no pool white noise machine. Okay, nothing <laughs> is as relaxing as the beach, in my opinion, when it comes to nature. I agree. Okay, That's very good, very uh, strong point. And I would say this too. I would say this too. Uh, anything worth its weight in salt water? It's a beach joke. <laughs> Anything worth its weight in salt. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that. I, I'm laughing at how bad it was. I know. That was supposed to be bad. I know. Uh, anything worth its weight in salt takes a little effort. Of course, in a perfect world, we could all have a nice pool three feet from our back door that we could just traipse down to and swim in at our own convenience, and we could have full control over the elements. I mean, we, you're, I we mean, could, yeah. But, but yeah, and we could turn the heat to what we want it to be and, and blah, 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 blah. But when you have to get up and go and achieve and obtain the thing, it's more, it's more special. You could spend 31 days straight in a pool and and I promise you, you will have less memories, significant memories, than if you went to the beach five days that month. That Because you are going to remember the journey. You are going to remember what it took to get there and everything else. Not to mention chemicals in the pool water not clean you know there's a reason why a saltwater pool is a big perk and it's more expensive because the chemicals you got to put in most pool water uh although they kill bacteria and microbes uh they can also have very negative effects in the natural environment it reacts quickly to other i'm trying to read this like you're, i made I, it up I, I, swear to god, <laughs> I swear to god you're reading it like we read the ads you're reading it like an ad i'm looking at you i'm like why is he why is he making this conversation i'll just read the thing it was so funny. I was enjoy. I was. I was getting to a peak enjoyment, and so you called it out. I I, I tripped it, and I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you slipped into. You slipped into a Hello Fresh right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like. Of course, look. I you know can make saying. the argument. I, I, that's a that's a pretty decent point about you go five days to the beach. You'll have more memories than thirty days in the pool. Maybe I like that a pool is there for you when you need it. Like. You said you get a bigger reward for doing the whole journey that it takes to get to the beach. But, like, what about the fact that the pool is the opposite of that? And the pool is there easy, simple, when you need it. It's reliable. It does the job. Okay? It can be as relaxing. Uh, should I be looking? <laughs> Woo Chester says pool. Yuck. Why do you call it human soup? <laughs> Well, you That's know what? Very funny. It, that is really funny. Be, like public pool, and I, it is true. But how is the beach not human soup then? But here's my point. Here's my point. It, the it, beach is soup. Forget about it. You know what's in those ocean water? Somebody just wrote sandy gooch, which is a very funny term. But here's the thing. Here's the thing too. You could argue. You could argue. In, sandy in, gooch is a great name for a character. It is. Yeah. You could argue this. You could argue that a hot tub is superior to a pool. Why? You could say, well, my hot tub is in my basement, and we've got a hot tub room down there, 
and we never have to worry about the cool air and we never have to worry about the water being cold and you never have to heat it up to a certain degree because a hot tub is always a hot tub blah 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 blah. and we go down to a private room and goddamn, me and my wife can have sex in that thing and nobody can see us and what my point is is these amenities <laughs> these privileges if you will that get that get uh, that get p piled on to something like a pool which is really a luxury it's a luxury item it's not nobody's going to uh, nobody and i will say it with confidence nobody is going to argue a public pool over a public beach nobody no, you, nobody's no. jumping no, but in that's, but that truly is not even a fit let's not even go there that's why not, not? that's because that's not but that's a lot of people's summer is the public pool. If they had a choice between that public pool packed with kids and people, okay, and 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 uh, uh, beach beach chair, whatever those recliner chair, whatever those things are called, chair on top of chair on top of chair on top of chair, people's water is splashing in the face. Between that and having to go through the extra effort to carve out your own little slice of heaven on a beach, they're picking beach every time. Now, if we want to talk about a look, you could argue private pool all you want, and I'm with you. I could argue private beach. I was but at my private, buddy's. But now you're talking about, what are we talking about here, private beach? But, I, but, but if you're going to do that, I mean, the best beach in the world versus the best pool in the world is, is well, probably, let me ask you it. I'll probably throw this, beach. But I mean, I'll throw I'm talking this in general you. terms here. I'll throw this at you. Accessible terms. I'll throw this at you. Sure. Accessible terms. Well, a lot, a, 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 your own pool is not that accessible to a lot of people. That's a pretty... Okay, but... That's why but, a lot of people have above grounds. That's why... Yeah, above ground is fine. That's it's why, a pool in your yard. It's, it's giving so, you what you need. Right. And, and, a, and a lot of people do have pools and a lot of people have friends or family that have pools. So pr the privacy <laughs> is still going to ring as a positive let for me a throw lot of this, people when talking about the pool. Let me throw this at you. You go to, I was just at my buddy's house up in uh, City Island, okay. up in the Bronx. Back of the house, he has a little sliver of beach. It's his. He owns 300 yards or 300 feet or whatever it is of the ocean. That's part of his property. You, buy, you go to buy a house, and they tell you, Here's one with an in-ground pool, whatever, or here's one with... Yeah, but this is such a... It's this is, like, like talking about hitting the lottery. It's but it's a, not... I, I don't want to saying, argue on, the, on, the, on, 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 this, on this extreme case. I'm just saying, but we're talking about it in basic sense. If somebody said to you, for the rest of your life, but, you could have your own little slice of tiny beach that, or that, your own pool... I don't even pool. think that could be applied to Why this not? argument. Why not? Because it's not accessible. But it, but oh, I'm saying anyone in I'm the world, saying I'm arguing dream? for pool. I love a pool. If you tell me, do I want my own private beach or a private pool? I'm talking about a sliver of beach that's smaller than a pool that meets a bay. Let's say, okay, you could talk about a lake house with some sand that leads up to a lake. What would you take? What would you take? Pool, a heated in ground pool, or pool. a beach house or a lake house with some pool. sand? No way. I, I, I'm not no swimming way. in that lake. I'm not going Why? to snapping turtles and the slimy floor. Snapping and, turtles. And, 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 and the minnows in there. And so I don't like swimming in lakes. I don't like it. The ocean's big enough where people can, where fish and shit can scram. A lake, they're not going anywhere. It's like you're locked. A lake is like you're locked in a room with the fish. I'll take I don't want to be locked in a room with the fish. <laughs> At some point or another, you're going to cross paths. There's nowhere for them to go. They can scram all they want. They're going to loop back around and find their way to my nuts, and I don't want it. Here's an article. L.A. Beach closes after 17 million gallons of untreated sewage discharge into the bay. Discharge into the bay. By, by the way, what a surprise. L.A. did something wrong. Yeah. You, know, not, I mean, you know what I'm on, not afraid you know, of but, when I'm yeah. in my, a, a nice saltwater heated pool floating on a swan raft? Oil spills. Well, I'm not afraid of a pelican coming to me on its last gas. You worried about what that chlorine's a, a, doing to you? I'm not afraid of a turtle, you worried about what a that turtle that coming up to me with a bendy You worried about what that chlorine's doing to you? Because you need to be. You need to be. You worried about what that chlorine? Is chlorine that bad for you? Yes. Yes. Chlorine is I bad. I mean, we've all been exposed hip, to chlorine for our whole hip. lives. Google how bad is chlorine for you. Uh... Yeah, chlorine's not great for you, man. As mentioned above, one of the primary side effects of chlorine exposure is that it causes dryness and irritation. When paired with hair treatments and dyes, yeah. hair can become extremely... All right, it's yeah. not that bad for yeah, you. Yeah, it's but. not. That's what I'm saying. Why would why would chlorine be the go-to thing for pools for 100 years? Pip, do better next time when you Google something. <laughs> Look, man. All right. All right. You, you're telling me it takes more effort to go to the beach, and so there's more reward. 
Okay, so you take a big swing and you have a bit of a payoff. I'm listed all the negative things that are very common on any beach visit that I could do without. I hate sitting. Also, by the way, if the water's too rough or the rip tides that you're going to fucking die in or the current, if the current's too strong and the lifeguards take everybody out, if the, if the water's too cold, well, you, you just can't handle it. If it's too rocky, well, you're going to slice your leg open. If it's jellyfish season, if it's, you know, if, if that's it's- That's like saying, that's no, no, like but, saying but that's, if a kid but, pees in but, the pool. But it's, it's, it's like, when I go to the you pool, know, when I go to the beach it's one of those things is like a 50 50 shot every time the worst feeling in the world is getting to the beach 50 and 50 it's, shot it's hot out and you can't go in the water for that's, relief it's too strong it's too cold it's too rocky that's it's too happened to me in my 44 years on this planet maybe two times it's happened to me an abundance of time so much so that i feel I have PTSD every time I go to the beach that one of those things is going to come true. All Would I'm saying is it's a controlled stop. private environment that is accessible to you all the time. But you're you're talking about... But hold on a second. Would you want, you're talking would you want about, a full on body on a rub once a month or a foot rub every day? Full body rub once a month. Not me. Not I, French fry. But I'm doing on. a foot rub every single but hold day. On. In all fairness, I had to figure out which was an equivalent to support my argument, and I picked it. It took me a second. Uh, well, every day versus once in a while. I don't know that I want a foot rub. To be honest, my feet are ticklish. I don't know. My point you get is, my point, is though. you're talking about though. You're talking about accessibility and what people can get to easily and on the average person the average person does not have access to a private pool they just don't it was that was a big deal when i was growing up and our house got our pool when we got our pool it was the talk of the suburb of the of the of the burg because only one other house in the entire suburb had a th had an in-ground pool and the other house had a pool was above ground but it was Joe, a big deal but i don't understand how that applies to this argument the because you're saying, asking our listeners is which do you because prefer. it stands I'm, to reason that most people have had a beach experience, even if it was one, and a pool experience, even because, if it was because one. You're because all the negative things you're saying about the beach, I could apply to a public pool. And you're saying that's not a fair comparison. It is. You have to compare that. You have to take into account that at a public pool, it's disgustingly crowded. Okay? You're on top of one another. It's it's packed. But I feel there that is way no the swimming. Beach. There is no relaxing. It's kids in the pool playing games, and you're getting hit in the head with balls and stuff like that sure. these are all things that are happening kids are peeing in the pool okay. so if you want to bring up all the worst aspects of a beach experience okay. i'm going to bring up all the worst fair. aspects of a, of a public pool experience fair, fair but 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 i'm thinking that most people are going to be answering this that either have a pool their family has a pool their neighbor has a pool and they have had pool access that's throughout not, their life enough that's, to be you're like talking, i can form an opinion on which i like talk better. to any think talk to any pool. city so, talk to any city kid they do not know somebody you that think has I wanna, a pool what about when i got to the bathroom you said i got out twice to go you think i want to go in my own house or my friend's house and pee there god forbid i got to do more than pee what, what happens about? at the beach when you got to pee pee in the ocean oh god and what happens when you got to go elsewhere you got to go, what about that public restroom? Oh, my God. How you know what that is? I picture a how beach often you bathroom need... at the gates of hell. How that's, often, what, that's what the gates of hell is. You got to walk through a beach bathroom. How often are you needing to do a two at the no, beach? I don't know, but I'm just saying, pro, never. Break. I've never done it, and I never will. I've never I'll, had to do I'll that. I'll hold in something like that until I have to get rushed I've never to the had hospital. to do that. Let's talk about another amenity what of the beach. People shit in the, you don't think people shit in the ocean? Because they do. Because they do. Okay. Well, I mean, but what are the chances of you encountering that shit? It's a gigantic body of water that saying. spans half of the globe. What are you talking about? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And I, no, I don't think I people love, shit in the ocean. I love the fact that when I, if I need to use the restroom and I'm having a pool day, no big deal. I'm in the comforts of wherever I am. The but beach, you're talking. The beach is like, shit, I got to pee. You are talking I got to pee. So I'm either going to walk down you're there talking, and shamefully go you're under talking, a thing and just stare at people like I'm a three-year-old okay, child. So if you're, if you, if you're only going to put into context I don't want to venture to the public If restaurant. you're only going to, then, then I get to talk about private beaches. Because you're only talking about the private pool experience. And I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you. Most people do not have access to that. That is not a common thing at all. You talk to city kids they go to a public pool okay even a lot of kids in the suburbs it's expensive the kids love that it's 
You're talking about an adult that doesn't love a public pool. The kids get, can't get enough of it. Okay, so what if you're at a public pool? Then you got to go to the public pool bathroom. It's disgusting. It's just as disgusting as that beach public bathroom. Okay, but I'm really thinking that most people are going to interpret this with the way they grew up. I didn't say they had to have a pool, buddy. I just said that they had a family member, a neighbor, or a friend that had a pool I don't that know. they had access if to you're, semi-regularly if we're, if over we're the talking, years. If we're talking about the way most people grew up, I don't know one person in my life immediately, besides you, that would pick a pool over a beach experience that one i don't have a pool i never had a pool in my entire life to this day i don't have a pool i'm aware i choose pool i have been in a pool a thousand times i don't have one so i'm giving you you're telling me that this experience doesn't exist you tell me everyone's experience is a public pool i'm not telling you the experience doesn't exist i'm telling you that i've been in above ground i've been in a friend of a friend's place i've been in a sure uh, sure I, I, people have opinions people have access to pools it's not just public pool or bust i didn't say it was all right but, I, so but i'm saying if you're only but you're going to talk about all the perks of the private pool and none of the detriments the, of a public pool then i get to talk about a private beach then i get yeah, to bring that into the mix is, is so not common it's not that it's not how many okay let's pimp, put it this pimp, way pimp, pimp, pimp. how many pools are in the united states of america of course it's less common than all right do you know babe and we're going to talk about keeps right now that two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35 yeah no it's true my grandfather Bald by 14. No. no wow. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't know if he'd be a candidate for Keeps, though, because Keeps helps you keep what you have. Yes. He's not going to start growing hair back from a cue ball head well, at 14. He's dead now. But oh, the, and he's dead. <laughs> so he's not going to uh, grow hair back with Keeps for two reasons. Yeah, no. One, he went full bald by 14. It doesn't grow hair. It keeps it what you have. Keeps two, his grandfather's dead. <laughs> keeps offers. That's the name Keeps. Yeah. You keep it. Yes. Keeps offers a simple, stress free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medication. Delivered straight to your door discreetly every three months. You don't have to leave your home. Treatments start at only 10 bucks, which is yep. super affordable. Yep. They have more five star reviews here, than any of their competitors. And here's the thing prevention is the key thing. So your treatment can take like four to six months to see results. So act fast. Get to preventing today, not tomorrow. You want to take action against hair loss? Go to keeps.com slash taste buds. You're going to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's keeps.com slash taste buds. Get that first month free. Keeps.com slash taste buds. Can I suggest a slogan? Keeps. Gets to preventing. Let's talk babble, babe. I love to babble with you. I love to babble with my friends. I love to babble and listen to babble on podcasts. But babble is putting that word into new territory because babble, our sponsor, is teaching you how to speak other languages. Let's talk about what Babbel is. It's the number one selling uh, language learning app, okay? They feature bite-sized lessons, 15-minute uh, lessons even. Yeah. So you can take lessons on the go. There's over 14 yeah. languages, yeah. and they actually uh, teach you in a way uh, that is useful. You're not going to learn extemporaneous stuff. It's conversational. It's stuff from menus. It's greetings. Uh, if you go to another country, you can use the app to, you know, to speak to people and even in real and time. And I love this. You can access uh, the lessons, and in addition to the uh, lessons, you can access podcasts and games and videos and stories and even live classes. Like, you know what this makes me think of? You see things like games and videos and whatever. Why does that stop after you're a child? Learning should always be enjoyable and presented in an enjoyable way. Yeah, it's yeah. going to help you learn. Yeah. I love that they do it in a fun way. So right now you can get... Three months additionally free when you purchase three months. So that's basically six months for the price of three, right? Yep. You're going to go to babbel.com and use promo code TasteBuds. That's B A B B E L.com. Promo code TasteBuds. Babbel, language for life. But hold on. I know, a second. but I'm just, I'm just saying, like, okay, then I'll bring up this. Then I'll bring up this. Do you ever, have you ever been to, uh, there are 10.4 million residential. <laughs> There's 10.4 million residential pools in the United okay. States and 309,000 swimming pools. Out of how many people in the United States, Pimp? What's the total uh, number? Of, what? Is it 300 million? I think it's more than that, but I'm not. 328 million. Okay. So te, out of the, What is that math? Christ. Sure. It's, it's, That's it's, a low percentage. It's, uh, it's probably like 3%. 3%. 
Yeah, I know, but that's that's three percent that own it, not three percent, and that, that's not three percent. But but here's my point: I, I, people that have a pool. How many friends, family members, and neighbors do you think they let in their pool? I, why are we even? You always no, what, do this we, to why, me. Why, why the you, question why are you is so flustered. The question is, which do you? I understand, prefer. but you so let's but argue you the merits. I, I we've, of a pool ar- we, we've argued versus the, the merits we've of argued. a beach. We've not the merits of access to a pool. We've argued or the merits. To a beach. We've argued the merits. But when you say to me something like you can't take into account private beach versus private pool, then I'm going to say back to you. Then you can't say how many pool people, doesn't count. Now this is how we do it. There's 10.4 million private pools. How many people own their own private beach? I didn't say that. Well, you of- can't compare private pool to private beach. I didn't say that. I said you're talking about the amenities that a lot of people don't have access to. You're talking about the luxury. But then you want to bring in private beach. That's okay, like 80 okay. people. Then I'll do you one better. Then I'll do you one better, okay? Let's talk about private pools. Guess what? Most people's private pools aren't heated, okay? okay. And that water is ice cold. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Now, once you're a week into the summer, that thing maintains itself. Sal, I grew up with one. It was in the 60s into July. Into July, that water was in the 60s. Jumping okay. Okay. Do you ever have to cover a pool? Have you ever had to do that? It's disgusting. It's impossible. Do you ever have to uncover a pool when summer hits? It's terrible. There's mildew. You have to drain the pool and refill it. You ask anybody, do you want a pool or not? They go, I want a pool. Right, you want a beach they or not? What are they, you talking they about? They don't, you, I'm don't, talk- you don't give earth away, Joe. Okay? Do you want a pool or not? And by yeah, the way. What? You're going to have to cover and it. And by the way. You're going to have to clean it. And by the way, the pool. and by the way, and by the way, when I say private beach, okay, I know literally in the sense that means private beach. If you go to beaches, for instance, around the beaches around Tampa, Florida, they are tiny little uh, uh, oases. Okay, there's like ten people on them. <laughs> Okay, there's like 10 people on them. I, I get all small. the benefits of the beach. The, the, you're, think, you're applying every beach to Wildwood, New Jersey. Huge boardwalk. I over. started off talking about tropical beaches and you shunned me for it for being an elitist. I, I was I joking. Led, I led I with the most making, beautiful beaches I've ever been to. I was making a joke. My point I've is, been in beautiful pools. My a point beautiful is, beach beats a beautiful pool. My point is all, all public beaches are not overcrowded with... With, it, there are plenty I of th- I get that there are All plenty saying, of public beaches that would function as a private beach. I would. get the benefits of a beach. I love a great beach day. I love a tropical beach. I get everything you're saying. Which do I prefer? If I had to choose one, I want the access of a pool in my yard over being able to drive down to the beach whenever. Okay, I want. but if you had the choice between a pool in your yard or a private beach, what should you pick? <laughs> You cannot compare those Yes, you those can. You no, can. you can't. Yes, no, you, you can. can. No, you yes, can't. You, I will tell you why. Of course, the private beach, Joe, I will tell you why. A private beach is worth I will tell, millions of dollars. It's not a worth millions of dollars. thousand dollars. It's not worth millions of dollars. You can buy houses, okay, for under a million dollars that have a little sliver of private beach that leads out to a body of water. That is a fact. So Look up so real I'm estate spend online. under a million dollars. How much is an above-ground pool? $5,000? So, so you want an above-ground pool? You think but an Above ground pool is going to give you all the perks you're talking no, about right not, now. Not a million dollar private beach. That's why you can't not compare a million the two. dollar private. I'd beach. rather be laying in a pool than lay in, in, in the sand on a beach. That is the argument here. I you understand. Keep going. I'm elsewhere. not going elsewhere. I'm not going elsewhere. I'd rather be in a pool on a float in a backyard than baking under the sun around people I don't know. The okay, general so you want experience. so you'd rather have access to a fully private pool is what you're saying? Yeah, but a private pool, Joe, is is, is Sal, eleven million you of them. Can't, I'd Sal. like to guess, yes, Joe, oh, call it a private pool. Yes, it is right. But I'd rather be in a yard in a pool. When I lived in L.A., when I lived in that, when I lived in when I lived in L.A., when I lived in L.A., when I lived in L.A., Pete Holmes and I talked about it all the time. We had we had spots we called Secret Beach because there were so many places you could go where there weren't tons of people around you. That's my point. Most. So People, saying, most people are between the goalposts, buddy. Most people don't have access to Most people to don't have Monica, access to a nice Malibu. little heated private pool experience that okay, you're talking more about. more people have access to pool than beach, yes or no? No. Be out here. I will. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Yep. Is there anything interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? Me? For me? Yeah. Chris Stefano. That's true. <laughs> yes. For me... Clinical depression, <laughs> but you can start communicating, which is which is Chris's nickname. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, anxiety. We. Both oh my God! It. Yeah, I mean, we both have the dark days. Ki- we both, you know. Kidding aside, guys, 
that kind of stuff escapes no one, especially after the couple of years we're coming out of. And I really do say, like when we when we when we talk about stuff, I think BetterHelp. I'm hoping BetterHelp reaches a lot of our listeners and actually I, helps them. They they assess I your need. They will. match you with a professional licensed therapist. Uh, you can do it. Start it with under two days, under forty eight hours. It's not a crisis line. That's it's just important. professional counseling, and it's done securely. And it's not self help either. I think that's great that they point that out. Yeah, like, that they're distinguishing. You know, this Be- is something. To, this is continuous treatment for you yeah and and because uh it's online it reaches clients worldwide uh many uh who could be experts in 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 things that aren't available in in your area yeah uh we would talk about it all the time um but you just make an account you log on you message your counselor and that's it you are up and running it's also affordable more affordable than traditional offline counseling financial aid is also available I mean, guys, start living happier today. This is so great what they're doing. They're making a service that is so elusive to so many people, so all under one umbrella, accessible. one-stop shop and accessible. Go to betterhelp.com slash taste buds. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash taste buds. You're going to join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental help. Go to betterhelp.com slash taste buds today. That's B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash taste buds. You're going to join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. And our listeners uh, get a special offer 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash taste buds. No. You can drive, I'm saying from where you live. Like you, this coastal and then yeah, there's public pool, in between. Ab- public pool, absolutely. But this coastal and then there's in between. The, Public pool, there's, absolutely. There's there's probably X. There's probably I don't know thirty five states that are landlocked. Okay. So those people have pool experiences. They, also they don't have, have access to. They the also beach. have lakes that they go to and swim in. Lakes are not part of this. Neither are ponds. Why? Why can a lake? A lake it's has a beach. beach at it. What are you talking about? Yes, it is. Why is that not a beach? Why is a lake not a beach? If there's sand and it meets I, the I, water, I'm I'm talk, I think we, I I took this as coastal. That's how I took it. Okay, well, that's not my fault. Okay, but still fine. Actually, the, the lake and the pond disgust me. Bay? So, a, I don't like a bay either. Not really. All right, again. But my point is my no point one's going to argue that a pond or a lake is better. I will take a beach at a lake over a, a pool. Yes, I will. No, because- no, 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 no. See, what you're doing now, what you're doing now is why we worded the, the, the poll the way we did. We didn't say which is better because... It doesn't Tell matter you if you take a beautiful lake and a beautiful pool, the beautiful lake's better. If you take a beautiful beach I'm and a beautiful pool. I'm telling you what beautiful. I prefer. Okay, so that's 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 what it's not on a given day. It's in I am general. telling you what I prefer. Okay. I so, think so you would eliminate pools from your life as long as you had access to go to a lake and drive there when you want. Yeah. You would use a lake more yeah, than a pool. In that ec- ridiculous extreme scenario where but, I have to you have choose to one what, ultimately right, over right, the yeah, yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah. How many times do you think you, you've been in a pool or you will go in a pool? In a, in a year. In a year. In a year. Do you want public, me to say? Do you want me to say? Public, do you want me to say? B- rental. I will tell you right now. Yeah. When the two vacations I've been on with you this year, as we said in the other episode, it sounds like all we do is take vacations. I fought tooth and nail every day to get everybody my question to, i asked wait, you you're, no, no answer my you're question not, you're not giving me answer my question did no. you order the code red <laughs> answer it how many times a year do you go in the pool yeah i didn't go to the beach by myself because answer none of my friends my wanted to go question. because none Just of my friends wanted to go my question dude how many times a year do you go in a pool on average 12 months out of the year how many times this Does- year Joe, in general, how many times would you say you go in a pool in a calendar year? I have no idea, Sal. Uh, take a stab, bro. No. It's a podcast. No, no. no, no. All right, because you know it's probably a no. couple dozen at least, right? It's not a couple dozen. I've been with you in a pool you didn't a couple me... dozen times this year. Because, because you refused to go to the beach with me. <laughs> I would ask My you. My point is. And you refused. Joe, Joe, on a, Why does that not Joe, count? Joe, on a, in a, Why does it not Joe, count you that say, every one of my Joe. friends refused to go to the beach and I had to stay in the pool because none of my friends would go to the beach. What does that have to do with this? You're I'm right. I you, chose to be social with my you, friends instead of going alone to a beach. You are like a child. I'm not a that, child. That, is, that doesn't know. Like that, you, you, You're not focusing Sal, on that question. you're not making a fair argument. I'm asking you on a general year, oh how many times do you go in a pool and how many times do you go to a know. beach lake? I don't know. 
Okay, so you don't even want to answer that question then. Is I that don't what? know. Okay. I'm basing if this it was in court, you'd look bad right now. I'm basing it on the last two years, and I'm telling sure. you something, and do not dismiss this. The last two times yeah. we went away, yeah. I said, I want to go to the beach, what? and you refused to go. What does that have I to do? I would have went every day if any of my fucking lazy <laughs> friends <laughs> It went with me. Yeah, and my point is, you don't even go if someone can't go with you. You don't have access. I'm not going to go alone. Beaches are free. I'm not going to go sit public. alone at the beach. But you don't have access. I'm not going to go alone and sit Yo, at the beach. I had full access. In a I'm not going to go sit alone. calendar year, how many times do you go in a pool, and how many times so, do you go to a lake beach? Before this year... Okay, in our two vacations, I can't even tell you the last time I was in a pool. I never saw somebody like the pool then as much fine. as you do. That's fine. Answer the question no matter what the zero. answer is. Zero. So you you average zero times in a pool a year. How many I times never, do you average going to a lake uh, beach? The only t uh, four, five. Got it. So on your average year, Joe DeRosa, you go to the beach at the lake five no, times beach, and in a period. pool zero. Beach period. Beach period. Well, you, I'm... Why are you saying you this, Lake Beach? Because that is what I'm directly asking you this off of but that why? sentence. You're not, but you you're you not, had a coronary not, and bullshit. scream. You said I prefer a, a beach at a lake over a pool. And then my next question was trying to be for the last I'm 10 minutes. I'm saying, Sal, I've been to beach lakes. You drive. I wonder if you drive the listeners mad because they can't even you yell. You drive them mad. They can't even yell back. They have to yell into the ether when you are not just. You, Sal, you refuse I to said speak I prefer, I said I prefer a beach lake over a pool. I didn't I'm trying say, to get to a point. You won't answer a simple question. One, Sal. You throw one a tantrum. versus zero. Zero pool. Five beach. When okay. I go, when I go to parties, ninety percent of the time, unless it's with you, I do not go in the pool. I don't care to go in the pool. I don't give a shit about the pool. Right? Okay. Right. When I go to a beach, I get excited. <laughs> I want to go in the ocean. I like going in the ocean. That's great. I understand that you prefer pools. I mean beaches. I get it. That's not my question. Well, that's what the argument is. No, I'm trying to prove a point. You won't let me get there. Uh, Sal, you have three minutes till eight thirty. Yeah. All right, let's go to the polls. <laughs> Unless we pause and I do 10 minutes and we come back. No, what do you want? No, let's just go to the... Sour I'm Patch Kid today, pal. I'm exhausted. But Joe, you... you, you why wouldn't you answer a simple question? Because you don't want to go down that road because I have what a great balance. What is the simple answer. question, Sal? It's an idiotic Most question. Most people's experience is they get a chance to go in a pool more times than they get a chance to I go didn't. to a beach or especially a lake beach, which was the heels of what I was talking about. So I think that most people would say, well, you know All what? I, I get was, more use out of pools no matter what, even if I don't own one. Mean that's I'm what trying you to make a simple point, but I'm, I'm speaking to how I think. Which do you prefer? Not which do you you go in more often. Not which is the better. Joe, which you're not even do listening you to what I'm prefer? Saying. I, I prefer a lake beach. You, I <laughs> prefer a lake beach. But you're not beach. listening to it. I'm trying to apply it to how I think the poll is going to result. Okay. And I'm speaking to how I think people will interpret their experiences. And I think you're going to lose because I think that more people will say, well, geez, I get to go to the beach twice a year, what? but I get to go in a pool like 15, ticking. 20 times. So I'll take, I prefer pool. Fox tick. Okay, let's see what it is then. You, 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 you want to keep talking? You're insane. I'm you're, not insane. You, you have gone insane. You're the one with a deadline. You have gone insane. You're the one with a yeah. deadline. You, are, you have gone insane. You are irrational. I'm not irrational. You won't even let me make a simple point. You've I, made I'm, your I, point. I'm I don't making, agree with that. I think it's a stupid I, point. I'm applying logic and you're just You're not applying logic. Tantrum. You're not applying logic. Okay. I think you're making okay. a bad point. If I lose in this one, I you're swear gonna to God, I'm going to fucking rock through a window. You're going to lose. Thank you, mother. I don't even need to do my plugs. I still love you. <laughs> Ooh. Yes! Yes! You gonna let me say I love you too? Or you gonna? Yes! That's my favorite win of all time. <laughs> you gonna let me say I love you too or no? Sure. Well, I don't. Wow. <laughs> Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste.